This giraffe gives this lioness a ride. It carries the lioness on its back and walks with her as if nothing is wrong, almost as if it were a taxi. The danger, however, is latent. Six hungry lionesses aren't an easy enemy to elude, but although the situation might seem hopeless, the long-necked giant will eventually humiliate the big cats. David Attenborough is best. <laughs> the lions stalk their potential prey. They don't attack directly, but are patient, waiting for the right moment to make their move. She, of course, doesn't take the hint. They have been hiding in the leaves for 20 minutes now, even though you can't see it on the camera. This safari guide, Francis Pianar, has never seen anything like it in his 20-year career, with their claws and teeth. The most reckless lioness climbs on top of the giraffe to wound it from above. She knows she has a better chance of toppling it if she attacks it on the neck. And if the huge herbivore should ever fall to the ground, its fate would be sealed. However, even for the queens of the jungle, the task is complex. So a second lioness tries to climb up to bring the giraffe down, but her attempts are in vain. However, of course, not all giraffes have the same fate. These animals live every day with the constant threat of being hunted by huge predators, and for every case in which one manages to escape safely, many others end up becoming prey. And it doesn't matter if they manage to run and move, when a pride of lions is chasing them, it seems that all is absolutely lost. It is the law of the jungle, and the strongest animal will eventually come out on top, which in this case is hunting. However, this law of the jungle often ends in the worst possible way, even for the best predators, and that is when humans start to do their thing in the wild. Not even the animals with the greatest hunting potential can escape the hands of people who seek them out as trophies. You, that's a lovely line. That's a line, my boy. That is a line. Oh, God almighty. God almighty. In different parts of the world, a very questionable practice has become commonplace whereby people pay to hunt animals that are in captivity and are essentially bred to die, an end from which they have no escape. Slaps on the back. You're such a hero. Look at what you've done. You've got your, 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 your king of the jungle. Meanwhile, it's all just a lie. The purpose of this practice, known as canned hunting, doesn't have any sporting objective like other types of hunting. Here, all that matter is the experience and the possibility of landing a prized trophy as if you were buying a souvenir in the tourist trips that people make around the world. However, the truth is that for years some governments have sought to eradicate this, even going so far as to get into fierce legal battles. The future of around 5,000 lions bred in captivity in South Africa is at the center of a court battle. It follows the government's attempt to stop what's known as the canned hunting of large animals, including lions. New regulations would only allow for animals to be hunted two years after they've been released into the wild. The problem with this questionable practice didn't just have to do with occupying animals in order to exploit them, but also with the health and wealth of those who decided to pay to be part of these tourist attractions. There'll come a time when he has enough and he will decide he is now going to take care of business and hunt you. And quite honestly, that's a terrifying prospect. This is an animal that can kill you with one swipe of a paw, one bite of its mighty jaws. The truth is that these practices end up completely destroying the concept of the law of the jungle, where in a natural way some animals kill others, and also there is the possibility of escape because if humans would have entered the game, this giraffe would have had zero chance of getting out alive.